Now 250,000, now I'm gonna get 275, five, I'm gonna get 275, three. Now 300,000, now three and a quarter, 325, five, I'm gonna get three and a quarter, I'm gonna get 325, now half, now I'm gonna get 300. And good morning, uh, good early morning, I might add, on this October the 6th. It's a Tuesday in Dallas, Texas, and uh, we are doing a show this morning to um, talk about some things going on in uh, Colorado, and I uh, want to talk about a couple other things first. I've been gone for over two months, and, uh, you know, this relates back to the COVID-19, and a lot of people didn't realize that, uh, that I did get COVID-19. Uh, and it's a real deal. Uh, it, it did involve about three weeks in bed and hospital uh, hospitalization for a short time. And, you know, all I can tell you is uh, take care of yourself and uh, stay away from as many people as you can because uh, the more access you have, the uh, greater the ability to, uh, to contract it. You know, and we send out our prayers to all the people that have it and, uh, you know, all the citizens of the United States that have gone through it, those that have lost uh, loved ones. And then also, of course, uh, the President, First Lady, and, and the various uh, members of the Cabinet that have it right now. Um, you know, it's the flu. Everybody's getting it. And it just affects some people different than others. Unfortunately, it affected me in a very, very bad way. Uh, but I'm glad to be vertical and with you again after a couple of months off. Um, we want to congratulate the uh, September-October class of America's Auction Academy uh, here in Dallas over the uh, last Friday. They graduated and headed back home. I uh, had some great people in that class. And uh, so we want to send congratulations to those folks. And uh, so we sent out a new crew of over 20 um, new auctioneers and uh, also want to mention that uh, we did a fundraiser for St. Jude Children's Hospital in Texas Scottish Rite here in Dallas uh, as well as the um, uh, scholarship program for uh, the National Auctioneers Association and the Fellowship of Christian Auctioneers International and that group of about 22 to 24 people uh, raised over $25,000 uh, in a, just about just about, about two hours time and so um, you know, we want to thank them for their their uh, contributions and also the uh, philanthropic efforts that they made through the Auctions Academy here in Dallas. Also, want to mention uh, Worldwide College of Auctioneering. Uh, most people know that we now own that, uh, and along with uh, Craig and Angie Meyer and um, that class, uh, we are excited to announce that uh, Worldwide College of Auctioneering will have their next class on October the 30th through November the 6th, and for the very first time, we will be in. Uh, Kansas City, Missouri. And of course, Kansas City is a very well-known auctions town and community for many years. Missouri Auction School was there for a long, long time, and then they pulled out uh, over probably over 10 years ago, maybe 15. Um, so we're going to be in Kansas City because it's uh, convenient uh, out by the airport. We're going to be at the Hilton. Also, uh, it's convenient to our, um, our real estate headquarters, our franchise system of United Country Real Estate. Um, so I'm excited to, to go back. Uh, you know, I lived there for eight years and commuted every week uh, for a, a good period of time while we were developing the auction program for United Country. So we will be out at the airport and uh, spend about uh, eight to nine, maybe ten days there and uh, kind of wrap up this year's sessions for Worldwide College of Auctioneering. So if you're interested in that, you can go to uh, our website, which is WorldwideCollegeOfAuctioneering.com. And uh, also, just as a quick note, we will be following up uh, the auction school, Craig and Angie and uh, uh, Sean and the folks that are involved with World Champion uh, Ringman uh, School. They will be having that session immediately after uh, the auction school graduates. So if you're interested in going to Ringman School, you can uh, double down and get your uh, auction diploma and get your Ringman uh, certification and uh, knock it all out at one time. Uh, and then finally, um, I want to mention my grandson who's six years old and scored th he scored three touchdowns in three weeks 
and as a as a, cr a proud papa, uh, I have to mean I have to talk about that. So it's just kind of the it's the rules of the game. It's a little dark this morning because we're starting uh, uh, quite a bit earlier, two hours earlier than normal, and uh, it's even an hour earlier for the folks out in Colorado. And we're going to be talking right now with uh, Gary and. Uh, there they are. Yeah, it's not. It's not as. Good morning. It's not as pretty as it was yesterday uh, when we tried to do this. And uh, of course, Gary and Jake Hubble out in uh, Colorado with United Country Real Estate, Colorado Brokers and Auctioneers. We've got a major project going on out there uh, called Battlement Mesa. And uh, I'll let you guys say good morning from Colorado this morning. Good morning. Mike. Good morning. Sun's coming up in about forty minutes here. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to get a little sun sun uh, now. Um, uh, you live in a beautiful part of the country, and, and you're you're a native of, of Colorado. So why don't you tell us kind of where you are in relation to the the rest of the world, and then uh, you know tell tell us about your family uh, place there and your lifestyle. Our uh, real estate office is located in Hotchkiss, Colorado, which is a little town on the western slope of about. Oh, about an hour and 15 minutes southeast of Grand Junction on the western side of the state, kind of on right on the southwest corner. And uh, but we work all over the state. We we work in Utah and Colorado and everywhere. So um, um, we are not bounded by geography. We we do projects that make sense. That that uh, brings us to the next subject, and we're going to talk more about your business. As we get through this uh, session this morning, uh, you know we've been working on this battlement Mesa thing for over over a year now, and uh, uh, you're on the front line. Uh, why don't you tell them what battlement Mesa is? Uh, you've got it down pat, um, the history of it and uh, how it became a, a town, and uh, the fact that it's conveniently located between Grand Junction and and several other towns, as well as Aspen. So um, why don't you tell them about uh, Battlement Mesa, what we're doing. Battlement Mesa is a community that was actually designed by Exxon back in the late 1970s and early 1980s. And uh, it was uh, an oil shale town originally, and it was, it was built to produce oil shale and figure out how to extract that shale from the rocks of, of the cliffs surrounding the town. And that was during the oil embargo and uh, during the Carter administration. So um, Battlement Mesa was actually designed for a total of, of 25,000 people. And it, it went great guns uh, during the early and late 1980s and then several boom and bust cycles. There's been a lot of oil and gas development in that area over several years. So um, now it's it's become a bedroom community for the Roaring Fork Valley communities of Aspen, Glenwood Springs, Rifle, uh, Basalt, Carbondale, even Vale. And uh, so people are willing to drive that hour and a half to Aspen to get to work. And, and you know, you have people that are contractors, tile setters, uh, uh, pool maintenance people, um, electricians, plumbers, and so forth, even attorneys and, and uh, doctors to some extent. Um, and then uh, you have people driving the Vale as well. But also, we're only 45 minutes from Grand Junction. So uh, Grand Junction is kind of filling up, and that's a town of 120,000 people. So um, there's Colorado Mesa University. There's all kinds of cultural aspects in Grand Junction. Lots of uh, trade there with, uh, you know, big box stores and car dealers and so forth. And so uh, it's a really smooth interstate drive of 46 minutes to uh, the, the Grand Junction exit on I-70. So a lot of people are actually starting to move up to Battlement Mesa to to uh, live there and then commute to their jobs in Grand Junction. So uh, the, the town is actually filling up now and there, there's about 4,200 people in town, but we have uh, some really cool inventory left from the original development and uh, boy, the foam is ringing off the hook, Mike. This is my son, Jake, here with me and Jake has been very busy putting lots of these properties under contract in preemptive auction offers but we will still have a lot of inventory that goes to auction on October 17th. Uh, obviously, smart investors and individuals who want to get a, uh, uh, an advantage, uh, and maybe they don't want to have to compete at the auction, they've got a perfect opportunity because they, they've, we've listed these properties and went ahead and put them up on the marketplace and have been entertaining offers uh, and will do so until uh, next Friday. 
And so uh, anyone who would like to look at the inventory, uh, of course, they can go to buy, B-U-Y, Battlement, B-A-T-T-L-E-M-E-N-T, Mesa, M-E-S-A dot com, buy battlementmesa.com. You can look at the inventory, uh, see all the due diligence that we've placed up there. Uh, of course, you know Jake's done a phenomenal job on doing uh, research and development and, and uh, c- putting all the information about these properties together. And then, of course, uh, just the entire process. You know, it's a, anytime you take on over 25 properties, it's it's a big deal. As uh, some people may or may not know, uh, a cooperative effort between your office and United Strategic Client Services took place about two years ago in Duchesne, Utah, where we put 120 properties up in one day and sold all that inventory for a, a lady that was an investor and also a developer upon the passing of her husband. Again, it took us about a year to put that deal together, and uh, then it came to fruition. So it just reminds uh, me to tell people uh, to uh, keep in mind if you're handling a master plan development, if you have development lots, or if you have a town, I mean, my history goes back to 1982 where we, where we put up for auction the, uh, the town of Tioga with the exception of the grocery store and Clark's Barbecue. And people in North Texas know Tioga very, very well. And if you know Gene Autry, the singing cowboy, that was where he was born. Uh, ultimately, I auctioned off uh, the 100 acres that he was born on in Tioga. And so I guess what I'm saying is going back into even to 82, we were doing towns and developments and farms and ranches and land. And, and of course, Gary, you're, you're a, uh, an outdoorsman. You're a hunter. You're a fisherman. Uh, you're a, a journalist. You're a photographer. You've done uh, so many things uh, related to the outdoors. And, um, you know, it's, uh, you've got a, a great resume and a perfect fit for United Country. And uh, uh, of all of our franchisees, obviously, uh, you and I have had a relationship that goes back uh, some time now uh, on the auction side. And uh, you came to America's Auction Academy or Texas Auction Academy at the time, uh, mm-hmm. got your auctioneer's uh, diploma, and then went back to Colorado and, and have been just, you know, kind of killing it uh, in a combination. That's what we like about uh, what we do is we get to offer real estate um, two different ways. We, you know, we offer a blended method where most uh, real estate offices don't know how to do that. And they, you know, it's, it's, not, it's, uh, it's not in their DNA to offer both. I like both. And that's why we're, we're doing these preemptive offers. And then we flip the switch. And in less than two weeks, anyone who wants to buy this inventory, they can come to the auction and uh, compete for those properties. Uh, until next Friday, if they want to make an offer, they can. Um, Jake, I know you know the inventory better than anybody, uh, and I'd like to kind of go to you. And I'm looking, I'm looking at our brochure, and I'm just going to put it up on the screen. Uh, here we go. Uh, there we go. A little level more right there. Okay. So this is the brochure that was sent out uh, to some of our prospective people, and it's very detailed. Uh, great photography, and that's something that you guys are known for. And here we go. This is the inside. On the inside, you can see a list of lot numbers, and that's on the left-hand side there uh, in the columns. So you have a column that says lot number. When we say lot, we're not talking about actual physical uh, development lots. We're talking about these are the lot numbers for the auction itself. So uh, we want people to understand that when we say, uh, you know, lot 1 through 9 or 1 through 18, that they understand that that's the order of the auction. That is not the number on, uh, you know, that's that's not the, uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and so then we have the back side of this brochure here. So, Jake, if you'd like, uh, go ahead and tell them what we have available and uh, what we have uh, preemptive contracts on so they'll know exactly what the inventory is going to be in the auction coming up. Sure thing. Well, Mike, the, the big thing is a lot of this land has been available since, like Gary said, since the 80s. And the auction process has really stirred up a lot of these people to actually get on their feet and make offers on these properties because, you know, for, for one potential client that we have right now who's actually, he's got three under contract and we're working on putting seven additional parcels under contract right now. He is a uh, He's really seen the stir and movement in people with interest, and he's moving forward. So primarily right now, as you'll see in the brochure, we have a lot of commercial development land, residential development land, three commercial built properties, 
and then some additional other uh, hunting parcels as well. So the big thing in this auction is whether or not there's three different types of investors, whether or not you're a commercial investor, a residential investor, or you're just somebody looking for some really phenomenal hunting ground. Right now we have a lot of interest and traction in the residential development parcels, and I really anticipate those are gonna go fast. The built commercial infrastructure, it is pretty appealing, and there's a couple that have really nice books on them, and a couple that you know can be evaluated and have different different business plans put in place for them. But overall, the entire inventory of Battle of Mesa is really darn nice, and we're getting a lot of traction on it right now because people don't want to compete at auction. Yes. Um, <clears throat> do you want to go down that list uh, and just kind of give them the indicators on what what lot numbers uh, are under contract right now, and then also what is available if they want to make a move on it? Sure. So when you're looking at the inventory and if anybody would like to contact me to get this list or more information, uh, go to uccoloradobrokers.com and you can hit inquire on one of the auction listings there. We have available currently, we have lots number one through nine. So that's lot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are all available. And lots 10 through 18, we are seeing significant uh, traction on to where I anticipate those should be in the contract here by the end of the week. Um, lots number 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 are all available. Uh, Gary, would you tell me, um, since you're the hunting guy, you're, you're the man, tell us about these uh, hunting parcels 23, 4, and 25. There's some phenomenal hunting, and, and most people have it in their mind's eye that that uh, you know, I'm going to go elk hunting in Colorado at 10,000 feet in the aspens and the, the pine forests and so forth. And uh, these these properties are actually in the river bottom or pretty close to it at about uh, 5,500, maybe maybe 5,600 feet in elevation. And so uh, it's not what people think in their mind's eye as as elk hunting. However, on one of the parcels, which is a 785 acre parcel, the, the partners there have built a couple of really wonderful blinds i mean you can sit there and sip your coffee and and uh listen to your ipod if you want to and watch the elk walk through and they've used these parcels as a place for uh you know to to take out uh friends and family and uh, kids you know on their first elk hunt and so forth and disadvantaged youth and and uh, veterans and so forth and typically they'll oh you know uh, 15 to 20 elk a year off of this one one or two parcels which is a phenomenal phenomenal take and then uh, also there's another parcel, which is about 240 acres, which the mule deer bucks really tend to love. And, and so uh, one of the hardest things that, that people find in the world of hunting is to, to uh, manage to bag a nice trophy mule deer buck, you know, something that scores in excess of 180 Boone and Crockett or even 190 or 200. And they've taken historically several very, very nice bucks off these parcels. And, um, some of the bucks, uh, oh, I think the GM was telling me the other day that there were there were nine really nice shooter bucks on that parcel right now. And so it's kind of interesting how the one parcel seems to attract the elk while the other parcel uh, is, is home to the mule deer. And every now and then you'll get them crossing over and kind of mixing in with each other. But but basically uh, one, one parcel is really good for mule deer. The other one is great for elk. Battlement Mesa has a, <clears throat> it's very unique uh, in that it is, uh, it, it's, to me, it's very pristine. I mean, it's a, it's a clean little town. Uh, it has um, a golf course. It has a, I know it has a civic center. Um, it's got a, you know, it has a uh, medical facility. Um, it has everything you're looking for in a small town atmosphere. Uh, and I think one of the things that I like about it is it has easy access you know, to the interstate, and it's a, even though it's a distance to Aspen, it's an easy drive. I mean, the time goes by quick, and uh, as you know, the roads are really good. And, of course, you can be in Grand Junction in, in literally 45 minutes. And I, and I equate that, if you live in Dallas, Fort Worth, because I'm kind of reaching out to some of my investors here uh, in North Dallas because, you know, this is really perfect, uh, perfect investor property because, number one, people in, in Texas love Colorado, and number two, it's affordable property. And uh, 
unlike Aspen, which is, you know, almost out of the price range for any normal person, uh, you have to have means in order to live in the town. You've got uh, skiing very available to you um, uh, up, and in, up and down in that part of the country. Vail's not that far away, and I know Rifle's that, not that far away, too. So, And you're, you're a guy that grew up there and knows the hunting aspects and uh, all the things you can do. Really, it, it kind of puts you in a sweet spot in affordability is the way I would put it. If I was uh, if it's someone with a, a young family that was trying to get started and, and didn't want to live in the hustle and bustle of the city, or if I was a senior anywhere in the United States, especially you know up north, you know, the folks that are in Michigan and, and Minnesota and Wisconsin and Chicago and all these places where, quite frankly, the populations are uh, obviously going to be diminishing somewhat because of just the current state of politics and the way the, the cities are being operated and ran, a lot of people are going to be uh, looking at new places. And I think Battlement Mesa would be a perfect place to go, uh, just either start over or, um, or to end, uh, the, you know, the, the last years of one's uh, senior years would be a great place to be. So, you know, I, I see it as a plus plus. You and I have drove, you know, we've driven the entire property and, and Jake as well. Of course, Jake has droned everything. And I know that um, if the folks go to buybattlementmesa.com. Uh, there's video there. There's a lot of uh, aerial photographs and things that they can see. So uh, tell me about the, the proximity to, say, Aspen and uh, some of the other towns. Yes, uh, Mike, it's about, uh, oh, I'm going to say an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 45 minutes to Aspen. And then, uh, of course, you've got everything up there. You've got the the Jazz Aspen Festival, uh, all, the, all the artists you've ever heard of or, or playing there, you know, ranging from country artists to people like uh, Chick Corea or, you know, the uh, uh, the the jazz masters. And so uh, you've got all these festivals, you've got the wine festival, you have world class skiing, you've got the, the best restaurants in the world and all kinds of recreation and so forth. So there's all that in Aspen, but, but also Vail is only about an hour, you know, hour and a half from Battlement Mesa as well. And then in the middle, actually uh, right between Aspen and Vail, is Glenwood Springs, and Glenwood Springs is a uh, very well-known resort town in its own right. It's got the the Fairy Caves, which is kind of a, a limestone grotto on the top of the mountain, where you take a, uh, uh, a a gondola up the mountain to go visit the Fairy Caves, and then they've got all kinds of uh, you know whirligig kind of you know uh, zip lines and so forth there. And rafting, uh, the rafting is very good in, in Glenwood Canyon on the Colorado River. Um, so there's all kinds of recreation there, but then you're surrounded on both sides by the White River National Forest and the Grand Mesa. So um, when you're on, on, the, on the ground in Battlement Mesa, you're, you're at about 5,400 feet in elevation, but you're looking up at all these monumental cliffs around you that go over 10,000 feet. So um, it's a very short drive into the high country, uh, the Battlement Reservoir. There's all kinds of fishing up there. There's excellent, excellent hunting on the National Forest. Um, there's skiing at Aspen Vale and then a little little resort just down the road in Powderhorn. And uh, then, of course, you've got all the cultural amenities and, and the nightlife and, and so forth in Grand Junction. And uh, I might mention, Mike, and, and you know this, that uh, Grand Junction is a very easy airport to fly out of. And uh, excellent connections there in Grand Junction with uh, direct flights to Dallas and uh, Dallas, Phoenix, Chicago, uh, Salt Lake, and Denver. So you know, excellent connections through through the airport there in Grand Junction. And then, uh, as a, as a last note, um, you know, just some beautiful lifestyle in, in Battlement Mesa. There's a, a 50,000 square foot rec center. There's a, a beautiful 18 hole golf course. There's a, a gorgeous brand new medical clinic. They have excellent schools there, all kinds of walking trails. And the Colorado River flows right through the property. And uh, there's a boat launch right, uh, right on the river there. So if you want to either get in or get out with your dory boat or your raft, you can do it right there in Battlement Mesa. There's so much to do. It's, it's crazy. I know we're having preview. Um, we, have, we have scheduled previews for tomorrow, the 7th, and also the 10th. And uh, so if people, <clears throat> if people are interested in uh, touring the property or having some inspections, uh, I would think that they would need to reach out to probably Jake uh, because he's kind of the coordinator on all, all of these types of things. Uh, Jake, do you want to uh, give us your contact information so that they know how to get a hold of you directly? Absolutely. 
So my name is Jake Hubble, last name H-U-B-B-E-L-L, -L, and my phone number, you can contact me directly at 970-250-9396, or if you'd feel like to, you can feel free to email me at jakedhubble at gmail.com, that's J-A-K-E-D-H-U-B-B-E-L-L -L at gmail.com. I'll get you set up with bidder packages and we can arrange whatever time you'd like to come see properties. But really and truly, we're available every day to go show property by La Mesa. We got people on site and it's things are moving fast. Very good. I, I, I want to talk more about United Country Real Estate and Colorado Brokers and Auctioneers because, Gary, as you know, uh, ever since you've been to auction school and Jake's been to school, uh, we've had a, a relationship where we're looking for opportunities to work together. And, you know, we've, we've traveled down and looked at things in New Mexico. And, and I know that you're interested always in, in the Midwest and Kansas and places like Nebraska, places like that. Uh, but also in the, uh, in the mountain states, everything north of you, Wyoming, uh, Montana. Uh, you've been to Washington and looked at some projects there. Um, tell me about, and I know you've, you've kind of gotten into the whole, you, you kind of hit a, a rush of wineries and things of that nature. Why don't you tell them a little bit about mm -hmm. your brokerage and, and why somebody would want to work with you and, and the fact that you do have brokers in others, other towns and uh, locations. I named the brokerage United Country Colorado Brokers because we are in Colorado, but actually that was probably a mistake because now we're licensed in Utah as well. And we did all those projects, uh, that big project in Duchesne, but now uh, I've got people calling me up and, and wanting to sell wineries and fruit orchards and properties with Anasazi ruins and caves in Utah. So um, we're, uh, we're geographically diverse. I don't uh, just drop a pin on the map and say, this is my little, my little radius right here, 20, 20 miles, 30 miles. Um, we have a broker in Loma, Colorado, Lauren Williams, who is a superb hunting guide and very experienced on large ranch properties. I've got Mike Gerbaz in Aspen. He's a fourth generation Aspenite and uh, has, you know, his family has, has roots in Aspen since the late 1880s. Um, I've got a, another broker here in Hotchkiss, Scott Reese, and then Jake. And uh, we're looking for people to join the team that, that see the opportunities that we're bringing to the table. And, uh, you know, things like, uh, wineries, orchards, vineyards, uh, you know, the, the big stuff. We we like the difficult projects like this Battle Mesa project. There's not very many real estate brokers that are able to wrap their arms around this. And, and, and Mike, you know, through our affiliation with SCS, Strategic Client Services, which you, you run, um, I feel like there's no project that's too big for us to wrap our arms around. Now, we do have a higher skill set. We don't, we, we don't call ourselves doorbells and window shades brokers you know the, the the three bed two bath residential stuff is very very easy in comparison to projects like this this is a very diverse offering with commercial hunting ground with uh, residential development land and all kinds of entitlements and surface use agreements and mineral rights and and water rights and some real complexity to it so but that is uh, what we've educated ourselves for that's what we we strive for is the the higher level real estate and, and by golly Mike, we're having a lot of fun doing it and bringing in some very interesting results lately with uh, some some cool ranches, orchards, farms, vineyards. Um, you know, it's, it's been, a, it's, it's kind of a wild ride right now. Phone is ringing. And one thing I'd like to touch on too, Mike, is, you know, the, the network of United Country offices nationwide, that really sets us up for any projects, primarily anywhere. We, uh, we took a road trip up to, uh, to what was Eastern that? Washington, Eastern yeah. Washington, over Cheney. to Cheney, Washington, small town, and we were actually looking at a four million dollar ranch up there. We uh, we actually sat down with the local office up there because they had a, uh, a what was it the marina? They had a yeah. large they had the the only privately held marina there on that northwest corner of the country, and they were looking at taking that through an auction cycle here at SES. So we were actually contacted by the local broker, and then we contacted contacted you to work on that. So you know, for us, we find. And then now we have a deal over in uh, West Cliff, Colorado, which is, you know, just southwest of Denver, about an hour and a half. And we've got a luxury home on 82 acres at the top of a mountain, which is a phenomenal property that's secluded. And we've been working with our local affiliate, Jackie Shepard, there and her husband, Wade. And we're looking at getting an offer on that. So, you know, we network far and wide. And we also have the tools and the people everywhere to be able to do it. Well, you make a good point. Uh, one of the things that you know, we, we just got through selling a marina up in uh, Nebraska. 
uh, with the local United Country affiliate. And then we also sold a um, equine property. It was an estate property uh, from a very well-known um, family that um, owns a national furniture company here in the United States. And I did that with um, the folks in um, Aiken, South Carolina, through our United Real Estate Office. So you know, one of the benefits that we have is that we have over 500 United uh, Country franchises uh, like yours and, and others around the United States. And then also uh, we have United Real Estate, uh, which is a, uh, a group of about 125 or 130 uh, more urban-related offices. Not that Aiken is, but they're kind of a, a unique um, a unique setting. Most of those offices that started, in fact, in the building adjoining me where I am right now, where my office is, here in Dallas, which was the first United Real Estate office, you know, we have offices in Los Angeles, uh, in D.C. area, in Miami, um, Chicago. I can go on and on. But my point is that we're not just a small operation. You know, United Country was established in 1925 by Roscoe Chamberlain. We were the very first uh, company to recognize that real estate could be sold in a, a, a larger network. Uh, they created a, the first catalog uh, ever, kind of the Sears and, and Roebuck catalog for real estate. And that that original catalog is sitting in the Smithsonian today uh, because we're unique and we're different. Uh, we're a lifestyle. We're a community. And even our franchisees, when we get together, as you well know, when we have our annual convention, which we were able to pull off before um, the COVID-19 situation, uh, it's more of a family reunion than it is anything else, except for the fact we um, it's an opportunity to educate and uh, award and recognize and and really take advantage of the time together. So um, it is a different it's a different type of uh, company. It's it's not like your typical um, uh, brokerage that people are used to. And so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really glad that I joined the company 14 years ago. I ran my own company for 27 years before I joined the company. And uh, I think it was obviously the best decision I ever made. And, um, and I think that, um, you know, as we continue uh, in the real estate space, it's going to be important to be doing things differently. You know, uh, offering the auction method uh, with a real estate office, if you think about it, uh, it's not about the broker or the agent. It's all about the seller and their sense of urgency. When do they need to sell it? Do they need to sell it today? Uh, do they even have to sell? You know, a lot of people say, well, yeah, I don't have to sell. Well, you know, there's no sense of urgency, so that's fine. Put a sign out there and let it grow old in the yard if that's what you want to do. But if you really are serious about selling, you know, we have a network of buyers and uh, that is un, un, unheard of. You know, we have over 600,000 um, unique individuals who have gone into our databases um, and said, hey, I'm looking for this type of property. I'm looking for a farm. I'm looking for a ranch. And they can dial it down to the region, the state, you know, right even down to the city, whatever they're looking for. If they want to buy a Dairy Queen uh, somewhere in Texas, We've got Dairy Queens, we've got convenience stores, we've got uh, Main Street America, and uh, we're one of the most patriotic uh, organizations that I've ever been a part of, too. We actually, we actually don't mind talking about God, and we don't mind talking about the United States of America and how important it is to us. So, um, you know, that's, that's my soapbox moment, uh, Gary. Um, any, any thoughts on your end that you'd like to share about, you know, the company or what your plans are for the future with your office and and uh, the great job that Jake does for that matter. Well, um, teamwork is very essential to being successful. And uh, we feel like we can reach out to a United Country office anywhere across the country and, and either co-list or, or work on a property together or send a buyer their way. And so, you know, really we're, we're kind of a concierge real estate company to where we can take care of our clients anywhere they are in the country and actually Costa Rica, Mexico, Panama, Australia and China as well. So um, I'm very proud of my affiliation with the United Country. And I know that our marketing techniques are very, very world class. And uh, actually, Jake, with his drone skills and, and with his mapping and so forth, has, has really brought us into the next level of, of imagery on our, our listings and so forth. And, and, you know, a picture tells a thousand words, but a video tells even more than that. And so when people see our properties in the way that they're presented, I feel like we're really kind of on top of our game, but we're still looking for that next advantage. What is that? We always want to be on a cutting edge 
in our technology and United Country and STS has afforded us the marketing tools to be able to do that. I know that you've invested a lot of time and money and effort with RLI. Would you like to tell, tell us about that relationship? Um, the Realtors Land Institute is actually a subset. I, I jokingly call it the Ranch Land Institute, and it is a, uh, it's a subset of the National Association of Realtors. I'm a very proud member. I hold the accredited land consultant designation, the ALC designation, which is very difficult to achieve. And just for a sense of perspective, uh, there are 40,000 real estate agents and brokers in the state of Colorado, and which is a big number. There are 32 accredited land consultants, and you're looking at one of them. It's a tough designation to achieve, but it, it shows a higher level of skill. And, uh, you know, for example, through my associations with RLI, I was involved in selling a, a $17 million property in Telluride, Colorado. I uh, sent a buyer up to Montana last summer and and they got tucked into a 7.4 million dollar ranch so um and those those brokers take care of each other uh with uh, referral checks and and with uh, a, a deep knowledge base and so forth so it has been a very very positive association for me and we have we have contacts literally all all over the country that we can leverage to uh, to help us with our properties well, and I think it's important. You you touched on referral, and we are we, we have our own referral network within our our company, the United Real Estate Brands, and you know <clears throat> we've got a deal going on right now in Oregon that I'm working on, and and uh, it's not it's not a small deal. You know, it's a five to ten million dollar deal. You don't know where it's going to land yet, but um, the bottom line is whether it's your office, my office here in Dallas, referrals are are a big deal, and not just with United Country. You know, we work with other brokerages as well. Uh, so if someone is sitting out in uh, in Denver, Colorado, and they just happen to be uh, Brand X, let's just call them Brand X because I hate promoting the other side, the dark side is what I call it. But when they, uh, if they have something unique and different, or let's just say you have an urban realtor uh, that has a client out in your part of the country, and they need to move it, and that, and they they need to take it to an auction, you know, we certainly will recognize referrals, and so. You know, I think the referral network that we have created is very important, and it's very it's very vital uh, to our success. And uh, it, it, we just want people to know that we're available to them no matter what. So whether it's your office, my office, whatever, uh, we're out to do business, and and that's the main thing we uh, that's what we do. That's that's our lifeblood, right? Amen. Yeah, it's 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 a fun career. It's exciting. It's it's challenging. You never know what's going to happen from day to day, you know, yep. and, and that's what I enjoy about it. And we get to see some really fun properties. You know, we get to ride around and tour some properties that the average person is never going to get to walk on. And uh, and we learn the history. And and actually, what I really enjoy is is interviewing these these old timers that are on those properties and learning the stories, their stories, and the stories of the properties. And I really get a kick out of that as well. Sure. Well, listen. Uh, it's uh, it's a great day to be alive. It's a uh, you know it's a, a beautiful Tuesday where you are, and it's uh, it's going to be the same here today once it starts uh, waking up a little bit more. We want to remind everybody that the auction is scheduled for Saturday, October the seventeenth. It uh, will kick off at eleven a.m. We would recommend people get there earlier than that so they have time to check in and also get their due diligence packages and register for the auction if they haven't already done so. I would recommend that they contact us as soon as possible by going to buy battlementmesa.com buy b u y battlement b a t t l e m e n t mesa m e s a dot com and check out the properties that we have we've got some great i mean we have some phenomenal commercial properties too so besides the development stuff we've got commercial properties if someone is looking for affordable commercial uh, square footage uh, and you want to live in a neat place um, really uh, Colorado's and I, I would have to say Gary that you know when you're looking at California you're looking at the crazy stuff in in Washington State in Oregon if you're looking to get away from ridiculous taxes and ridiculous uh, governmental uh, I'd say overstepping um, you know Look at look at Western Colorado. Look at what we have at Battlement Mesa because it may be just perfect for that person to get to, to escape. Uh, when I say escape, um, uh, I, and I mean it. Uh, I think for the first time in history, from what I understand, there are more 
there are more people leaving California than moving in for the first time uh, in our history. And it certainly is easy to understand why. That I don't see a lot of upside to moving to a high-tax state. Um, and at least at Battlement Mesa, you've got affordable uh, commercial development, vacant land, and the hunting uh, uh, aspect is is very uh, exciting. So I just want to say on behalf of United Country uh, uh, Real Estate, Colorado Brokers and Auctioneers, and also United Strategic Client Services based here in Dallas, um, we uh, certainly appreciate uh, you, Gary, and Jake getting up with us this morning so we could talk about our project uh, and invite anybody that's interested to come out and, and, and get a deal on some property in about uh, less than two weeks. Final thoughts? Very good. Final thoughts? It's a, it's a great project. We're happy to do it, and uh, we're looking forward to the next one um, already. Um, this is going to be a good one to get over the transom, though, because it's been very complex. Uh, actually, Mike, we started out with 35 properties, but uh, uh, we've already sold about 10 of them, um, even before the auction cycle, and then the others that we're putting under contract right now. So, so we are getting it done for the seller, and that is the ultimate goal, is to get this real estate transacted. And what's kind of fun about it too, Mike, and like we did in Duchesne, Utah, and we give that that community a rebirth because this these these properties are now going into somebody else's hands, and they have an idea of what to do with them. They're going to develop them. They're going to build more homes, and it's going to be a, 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 a new start for this uh, for this community. Well, it's a testament to marketing. Uh, you know, the property's been sitting there for some time, and I, I think as as we all know. Uh, no matter what real estate, uh, office, brokerage, whatever, has a listing. You, at, at a certain point, if you haven't sold the property, you, you're stagnant. And it means that, you know, you've, 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 ex, you've gone out and tried to get as many buyers looking at it as you possibly can. But unless there's an investment in marketing, uh, the word doesn't get out. Well, we, you know, we have worked with the seller. They've made an investment. They've invested in their properties with marketing. And it's, the proof is in the pudding. And uh, that's why we have these preemptive sales. And, and I anticipate you'll probably have some more before the end of the week. I know you've been wearing out pins, uh, filling out contracts and purchase uh, agreements the last several days so i read uh, you know was, I, go ahead <laughs> there was some brain freeze going on there we had so many contracts going that we literally could not even think any longer we had to say look we'll, we'll pick this up tomorrow morning so here we are yep well look i appreciate you guys and what you're doing out there and uh, I'm, we look forward to being uh, in in uh, battlement mesa here in about uh, less than two weeks uh my my flight's booked i'm on my way so i look forward to seeing you guys soon okay Awesome. All right. See you soon. Thank It'll you. Fun. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's show. Uh, I'm glad to be back after two and a half months of being uh, sidelined and uh, excited for what has uh, become quite an interesting year in the year of 2020. Uh, kind of excited about seeing what's going to be uh, 2021 as we move forward. Um, if you have some real estate you'd like to sell or if you have uh, any type of uh, asset that you feel you need to move quick, uh, please give us a call. You can always get a hold of me at 214-906-5265. And on behalf of Trelvis and everyone that's been a part of this one, we appreciate you joining us from Dallas, Texas, live on the Mike McGavel Jones Show. God bless you. We'll see you next week.